Have you ever wondered what type of mindset men find attractive? Well, in today's video, we are going to talk about three confident mindsets that drive men crazy. Let's get into it. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, whether you want to believe it or not, there are just some things that men want, need, and desire that drive them crazy when women do it. And we are going to talk about three different mindsets that men really enjoy when it comes to women that helps them be more attracted to them. Now, this video isn't about appearance and superficial things and the all of that, this is about the internal things that a man absolutely will love about you if you fully embrace it. Now, before we get started, I need for you to put in the comment section, let me know some confident mindsets and some things that you believe drive men wild. Put it in there, I need to know. So the first confident mindset that drive men crazy is being your unapologetic, authentic self. Now this is completely underrated. I don't know why as women, we try to morph and be all of the things that we think the man that we like won and then now we're not being our authentic self and now he really doesn't want us because we're coming off as fake. Listen, that is not what you want to do in this situation. You want to unapologetically be your authentic self. So that means all of your opinions, all of your quirks, all of your silliness, all of the things that make you uniquely you in your mindset, the way that you think, don't hide those things. Allow that thing to shine through because regardless of if that man particular that you like wants it or likes it, there's going to be somebody who rocks with it. And you wanna make sure that you find the person who's going to rock with you, who you are authentically, not who you're pretending to be. Because also, if we're honest, you can't sustain that long term. You can, you can keep it up a little bit for a few weeks, maybe even a few months. If you're really good, maybe even a year. But then who God made you to be is going to come out and it's going to shine brightly. And then the man is going to feel duped because he's like, wait, 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 wait. This isn't the woman who I initially liked and got with to begin with. So to avoid all that, just be your unapologetic, authentic self from the beginning. The second confident mindset that will drive men crazy is a positive self image. And I'm talking about now the also the physical part too, because oftentimes it says women, I think as men, just people in general, we have things about ourselves that we want to change. You might feel like your nose is too big. You might feel like you want to lose some weight in the belly section. You might feel like you want your breasts to be bigger, your butt to be bigger or smaller in some cases. You want your waist to be thinner. You want smaller lips, bigger lips. Your ears are too big. You want to get the, there's so many different things about us that we want to change. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's just we all have preferences and things that we want to work on. But when you have a positive outlook on those things, it shifts and change everything. If you are, woe is me, I'm so ugly, nobody wants to be with me, my ears are so big, my thighs are so thick, they're ugly, you don't like me, all, if you, if that's all the energy that you're bringing, <laughs> then he's going to try to stay far away from you because guess what? That's going to be completely unattractive. You want to have a positive self image. That means, yes, I'm fine. Yes, you should want to be with me. There may be some things that I need to work on or change about me. And I may or may not do those things. But regardless of if those things are changed or not, I'm still going to love me for me. And you should love me for me too. And I know I stayed on the physical piece on this one a little bit. But also, can we just talk about the spiritual aspect real quick? Just know that your energy, your spirit and the things that you are giving off is also magnetic and attractive to a man as well. So when you carry yourself with confidence, when you know what's going on with you spiritually and you know that you're connected to the divine, when you know all of these things are locked and loaded and he also is a person who is attracted to the, to the mind, body, and spirit, <laughs> baby, you're a triple threat. You're a triple threat. And last but not least, number three, the third confident mindset that drives men crazy is your wit and your intelligence. Listen, a sharp mind is attractive. People who can hold their own, people who are knowledgeable, people who are well-read, people who understand different things and can talk about different topics and they're not just a one-trick pony and all they talk about is just one thing and all they know is just one thing, but you're well-versed. 
that is one of uh, the most attractive things that you can do to a man because the conversations are endless. Stimulating conversations can captivate a man and keep him reeled in the whole entire time. So if you are finding that you don't know how to do that shit, that you may not feel like you're the most smartest person or you're not sure how to use your intellect to make sure that the conversations are engaging and it keeps the ball rolling, learn how to do it. Because that wittiness, that wealth of knowledge, that confidence that you have when talking about a thing is fire. And to be honest, what it does, it leaves a long lasting impression. So if he's dating multiple people or whatever the case may be, he gonna keep coming back to conversation and interactions with you because you can keep him intrigued. It's not just like, oh, well, what's your favorite color? Red, okay, well, what's your favorite number? But what about some deep stuff? Let's talk about what's going on in the world. What's, let's talk about some social issues. Let's talk about religion. Let's talk about all of, let's talk about a million and one things that global warming. Let's talk about something that is outside of ourselves so we can have a deeper understanding of how one, my mindset continues to work, but also how his mindset works. Because the flip side is true too. You don't want to be in conversation in a relationship or dating a man who can't keep a conversation who also doesn't have wit and knowledge. So allowing those things to shine for you is going to help to see if this relationship is going to work out. So my final thoughts on this is look, all of these are wonderful. I only gave y'all three, right? There's so many more that I could have talked about and made this video way longer. But I firmly believe that you should use and utilize these mindsets. We're talking about being your unapologetic, authentic, self, positive self image. We're also talking about wit and intelligence. Being those things will allow you to attract somebody who hopefully are also those things. We want a man who can be them authentic self. We want a man who can have a positive self image about himself. We want a man who can have some wit and some intelligence about him. So allowing yourself to really just lean into those things is not only going to allow you to shine, but it's also going to reveal his true colors too. And if he can't hold his own, and if he can't do those things, he isn't the person for you. So this video is truly all about being you, boo. These are some mindsets. These are some confident mindsets that you want to incorporate that's going to drive men a little crazy. But also too, if he ain't going crazy over it about you, that's okay. We can skip over him and go to somebody else who's going to value you for who you are. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.